Hello, hello everyone. You are warmly welcome back to this edition of Our Positive Word. I am grateful for your time today. Get back up. That's what we're looking at today. Where are we getting back up from and why do we have to get back up? As human beings, we always face challenges. Things happen to us daily, weekly, monthly, all the time that tend to knock us out of the position we originally were at. And then we have to work hard, do things to get us back out of that fallen state, either to get back to where we were or to get higher than where we were. But in all that we do, we must work hard to not remain in our fallen state. We must endeavor, do all we can to get back up. Because remaining where you're falling is not a sign of victory, it's not a sign of progress. Rather, it's a sign of someone who has given up. We're told in Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16, good people might fall again and again, but they always get up. It is the wicked who are defeated by their troubles. That is very self-explanatory. The King James Version says the righteous man falls several, several times, but he gets back up. So as children of God, yes, we will face things. We will have things, challenges, problems, issues that will knock us down. But we will get back up again and again. We will rise. I'm not even going to bother about the wicked who stays defeated by their troubles. They may seem to be progressing, but the real thing, go deeper, you would see what's actually the case. The How badly a person falls is not what's important, but the learning which that person gains from the fall in order to prevent a repetition. Yes, we fall because we are fallible human beings. We are susceptible to failure. There is not one person in this world who does not fall in some ways, shape or form. It does not matter the position, title, wealth, status, religion, location, gender, beliefs, skin color of that person. We all fall. But we can get back up if we decide to. You do not fall down and stay down. You dust yourself up as you get back up and keep moving. We strive to be like the Lord Jesus, who will guide us to become all that God wants us to be. If we allow the Holy Spirit to lead us, this is the case for us. We will rise back up. A righteous person falls down seven times and then gets back up. We don't stay down because we have the Lord God helping us to get back up. This is an encouragement for everyone to get back up from that place of depression, that place of stress, anxiety, unnecessary pressure, poor mental health, disappointment, setbacks, failures, self-pity, bitterness, godlessness, animosity, hatred, anger, what are those things eating you up? Blaming everyone and God for all your problems. Get out of that place. Get back up from those places. That's not what God meant, wanted for you. You can make the change. Start by do getting up. The difference between us and those who do not know God is the fact that we have the Spirit of God who helps us and strengthens us to rise from wherever we fall. He will help us and guide us to go through whatever we need to go through to come out and start again. God of a second chance. We're told in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16. Therefore, do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Yes, our bodies, our minds, our physical strength might fail. It, that is the fact of the cycle of life. We're born, we begin to get old. However, inwardly, we are renewed. Our spirit man is strengthened and held up by our God 
and we continue to walk. That's why you see sometimes some people who are very old physically, they are still strong because of the sound mind. My dearly beloved, get back up. If you can muster the courage to stand up, you can get back up on track and keep going until you succeed at whatever you set your hands to do, my friend. Get back up. Your horrible experiences did not kill you or they have not killed you yet for a reason. God has plans for you. Do not condemn yourself and offer yourself as a sacrifice on that altar of failure to be completely destroyed. Jesus Christ has paid it all for our redemption in abundant life, both here on earth and in the life to come. The choice is yours, my friend. Whether you get back up while you still have the breath of life in you, or you stay down and be trampled upon until you are choked by all your troubles. A thankful attitude will help to lift you back up to a position where you can clearly and rationally view things to make sound judgments. Get back up. If you really want your life to be successful in this new year, my friend, get back up and stop whining about everything and blaming others and God for all your problems. That does not help. Being, begin to take responsibility as you rise from whatever place you must have fallen into. That little strength will only keep growing into gigantic victory if you allow it. Get back up, my friend. I thank you for joining me today. Until I come your way again, it's goodbye for now. God bless you as you get back up.